guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So we're going to be doing a festive holiday makeup look. I always really love doing holiday makeup looks every year. It's all about like lots of glitter, lots of like smokiness. I'm kind of in glitter overload this year. <laughs> Nobody is surprised. I'm always in glitter overload at the holidays. <laughs> but I am hoping to do something like deep and smoky, maybe a little bit of purple, a little bit of pink, um, just something really cool. So I hope you guys are ready to do something festive today. If you are new here, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and let's jump straight into the video. Now, first up, I am going to be prepping my skin. Obviously, a really good skincare routine and a good regime is really important for really perfect looking foundation. So we're going to prep the skin, then we'll do foundation, then we'll do the eyes and I think we'll come back and we'll do everything else. Now I'm quite excited. You guys know that I have been working with Function of Beauty for years now. They make really amazing customized products that are unique to you. When you go online, you fill out a quick little survey and then you receive, well, they started with hair care, then they did body care, but you guys... They have just launched their own customizable skincare line. And honestly, it is absolutely beautiful. So I have teamed up with Function of Beauty today to quickly show you what products I got and sort of how I went about choosing my customized skincare via their website. So like I said, you just go onto their website and you just fill out a super, super quick survey. It'll go through, ask you your skin type, like your profile, your skin concerns, what goals you have with your skin, how much makeup you wear. And it will build customized products with customized ingredients that are based specifically on what you need um, and what you filled in through that survey. Now you can also choose whether to add a fragrance, you can choose like the delivery method. So you might want a gel moisturizer, you might want a micellar gel cleanser. I went with the micellar gel cleanser. This is what it looks like. It's so cool too, because it's got your name on it. Look, it says a function of Nakia. The bottles are honestly beautiful, but I went with the micellar gel. Um, it's the best for oilier skin types. It's a really, really lightweight cleanser. I love it. It does a great job of cleansing my skin without stripping the skin. So that's the first one I chose. Obviously, I'm an oily skin type, but I did also choose ingredients to moisturize my skin. I wanted to minimize pores and I wanted to reduce shine. Next up, I'm going to go in with the serum that I created. This is a gel to liquid serum. It's really, really lightweight. It's not tacky. It doesn't leave a residue on the skin. It's amazing for under makeup. And I have got three different kinds of hyaluronic acid in this to really deeply hydrate. It's got blue green algae extract to help minimize fine lines and wrinkles. Oh, it just feels so amazing. And I really, really like that this serum doesn't leave any tackiness or sticky and it doesn't make me greasy and oily during the day. Um, that's always a win. And then finally, this is the moisturizer. It's got my name on the top again. It's so cute. I went with the gel moisturizer. It's a really, really lightweight product. Um, just perfect for oily skin again. And I have to tell you guys, honestly, if... If you took this out of this packaging and you put it in my touch of water cream jar, I would honestly think it was exactly the same thing. It honestly, it feels and works exactly the same. It's so, so nice. So I'm just smoothing this one into the skin. I have been wearing this one underneath makeup. It does completely dry down. It's not like a heavy cream or anything. So I've just pressed that one in and look how nice it looks on my skin. Like there's no greasiness. There's no oiliness. My skin feels really hydrated, really plump. Like these are just awesome. I think that it's so cool that you can completely customize your skincare. You know, it's so difficult to find skincare that like fits everything that you need. They're really, really good quality, vegan, cruelty free, non-GMO, no parabens, no sulfates. There's no nasties in them. And it just means that you do not have to waste money on products that aren't necessarily specific to your skin type. So if you are interested in testing out their brand new customized skincare, please click the link in my description bar down below. That will get you 20% off your first order. And it will also get you this cute little headband for free. Um, this is really good for popping on when you are doing your skincare to make sure that it doesn't get in your hair, especially when you're doing it in the morning, like before going to work. So now that my skin is all prepped and hydrated and more plump and ah, we feeling good, I'm going to go in with a primer. I've been quite enjoying this one from Ciate. This is the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. I was originally like, oh, I don't know how that's going to go on my skin because it's hydrating primer, but it is a gel texture and it doesn't actually leave any residue on my skin, which is really good. So just warming that up between my fingers and then I'm going to press this one into the skin as well. I probably could skip a primer because that moisturizer does an amazing job at controlling shine. Um, but like, <laughs> I got to tell you guys, let me just check and make sure I've got it correct. 35 degrees Celsius here in Australia today. We are in summer and it is warm. Like that's well over 100 Fahrenheit. <laughs> I need it. I need extra primer today. And for foundation, I'm going to be using the She Glam Complexion Pro. I am absolutely obsessed with this foundation. 
Oh, I cannot believe how good it is. It's only $9. It's insane. So I'm going to buff this one into my face using our Nikijo Cosmetics Luxe Foundation Brush. This is like literally velvet and does a really, really good job of applying foundation over a large area really quickly, really flawlessly. makes it look airbrushed and doesn't leave any streaks. I have pretty much been using this foundation every single day since I first tested it. Oh, it was probably, it was over three weeks ago now. I am just like head over heels obsessed. It looks so flawless on the skin. It looks really smooth. It keeps me matte most of the day. It doesn't emphasize my fine lines or texture. Like it is heaven in a bottle. Um, and it's so affordable. Like it's, it's nearly like how, how did they do that? How? It's also incredibly lightweight too. You can like apply like a really thin layer and just leave it you know, as more of a medium coverage, or you can build it up to full coverage as well. I think I'm going to go fairly full coverage today. Um, I mean, it's a holiday makeup look. I've got the shade Golden, um, and I have said in plenty of other videos when I've spoken about this foundation, um, it does tend to dry down about one shade darker than what it looks like in the bottle. So just bear that in mind when you are selecting a shade. Um, I'm obviously matching my neck, my chest and my exposed skin. So it does look like I'm applying foundation that's, I mean, <laughs> the skin on my face is a lot paler than the rest of my body because it doesn't see sun. Like, look how good that looks on the skin. It's, oh, it's just so flawless and you can hardly feel it on there. It's honestly, I, I couldn't recommend this foundation anymore. It's amazing. So for brows, I am still head over heels obsessed with the Benefit Brow Micro Filling Pen. I have been obsessed with this ever since it launched. I feel like it launched maybe about five months ago. I um, pretty much haven't used another brow product since. It is that good. Um, it's a little pen and basically you use it to draw in individual brow hairs. It is amazing. So I'm going to start adding my brows with this. I've got the deepest shade of this one in case you're wondering. It never looks too heavy either. Like they've done a, such a good job with the formula. It nearly looks a little bit see-through on the skin. Um, and that's just what it makes it look so natural. I think if it was like fully pigmented, like, you know, an eyeliner, for example, it would look really fake. I absolutely love this. So I'm going to fill my brows in with this. And then I'll pop some brow gel in and then I'll zoom you guys in and we'll start the eyes. All right, moving on to the eyeshadow now. I'm first going to prep my eyes with some eye primer. This is the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eyeshadow Base. I'm honestly absolutely obsessed with these. Um, in my opinion, this performs even better than the MAC Pro Longwear. And it is also easier to blend and apply to the skin. Really, really, really recommend. I use the shade Medium. That's what the medium shade looks like. It does come in three other colors though. So I'm gonna take that on our cream blend brush. This brush is really good for applying like eyeshadow base and also um, concealer like around the eye and stuff. So I'm gonna pop it um, across like both eyelids obviously, but I'm also gonna blend it through the inner corner of my eye as well. Um, I've got a little bit of darkness sort of happening right on the inner corner. I've been a bit tired lately. So popping your eyeshadow base or even like a concealer right before you go in and actually apply your eyeshadow is a really good way to actually counter, like counter correct that color. Um, because once you've got your eyeshadow on, it's really difficult to blend concealer in there without sort of wiping it across the lid. This brush is a duo fiber and it creates like a really airbrush finish. See how there's like no streaks across the lid. Normally concealer brushes and other brushes like they leave, um, especially with an eyeshadow base, they leave streaks and it drives me nuts. I end up having to apply it with a brush and then go in with a finger. Um, that was sort of like the goal behind designing this one and I wanted it to give like a really, really airbrushed finish on the skin. All right, the eyeshadow palette that I'm gonna use today, uh, again, this is another product that I've just been using flat out since I first tried it. It's the new BH Cosmetics Naughty Palette. This was part of their holiday collection this year and it is freaking amazing. There are so many different colors in it and they've all got really cute festive names. So it's perfect for like a holiday makeup look. I'm gonna be using this palette, but then I'm also gonna be using one of our Chroma Shift pigments. Um, I've had heaps of requests to show some of the Chroma Shift ones on camera. So I'm gonna be using one of them today. So first up, I'm gonna go in with this shade here, Balsam. It's kind of like a light peach color. And I'm taking that one on our diffused blend brush. I'm gonna work through the crease this is sort of going to act as our transition like i said i want to do something like quite smoky quite intense um just something like really festive we'll pop some glitter on we're gonna have fun today the mattes in this palette honestly blend so well i can definitely say it is their usual formula um and i just love it it's it's such good quality and it's so affordable all right going in with our diffused crease brush i'm gonna go in with this shade here now it is ho 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 um it's a really really vibrant purple it's pretty as oh no i just dropped my palette and oh, 
scraped my nails through half the shades. I hate it when that happens. So I'm just going to work this one through the crease as well. Just to add like a layer of sort of purpleness, cool toneness to it. And then we're going to start building up some really deep dark colors. This is our EO3 brush, the diffuse crease. It's slightly smaller. That's a really good for like specific crease blending. All right, going into Nutcracker now, this deep matte burgundy. This is our EO6 Precision Blend. It's an even smaller blending brush than the last one. <laughs> just going to buff that sort of through the lower part of the crease. And it's just going to sort of warm it up and also make it a little darker as well. All right, now for the star of the show. This is our Celestial Chroma Shift Pigment. These are really, really cool color shifting pigments. And as you move your eyes in the light, they switch and change between a whole bunch of different colors. This one shifts between purple, teal, blue, and like a deep green. It's perfect, perfect, perfect for a festive makeup look. So I'm just going to apply a bit of a tacky base because my eyelids are now matte from blending all the eyeshadow. This is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. You really only need the tiniest bit, um, but yeah, they definitely adhere better if the skin is slightly tacky. Much like any sort of shimmery, glittery eyeshadow will. And then picking it up on our flat shader, it's honestly, it's such a cool color. Like every time I look at it, it looks purple, then it looks blue, then it looks green. They just, they change colors constantly. And I'm gonna pack that onto the lid. Yes, obsessed with this color. Now, obviously these are pigments. They're 100% pure pigment. They are all natural. Um, and they're actually really easy to blend quite surprisingly, but there are no fillers So you don't have to worry about you know there being anything in there That's going to alter the color of the eyeshadow or you know That's gonna make it like you know add texture to your lid or just look a weird funny color on the lid And um, they are literally a pure pigment. So I'm just packing that all over the lid and then what I'm gonna do Oh my god, that looks absolutely amazing <laughs> And then I'm just going to pick up the tiniest little bit on our pencil brush. And I'm very gently going to buff the edge. Now what is cool is because they do shift and move colors, um, as you move in the light, as you blink, as you turn, um, it's going to look like you've applied and blended like so many different eyeshadow colors over the lid. It's so cool. So just applying on the other eye now. I am absolutely obsessed with this color. Our pigments do come in 29 different colors if you are interested in grabbing them. Um, and it's taking everything, like I just, I want to extend that to like 100, I'm obsessed with them. And then finally to finish off the shadows, and I will obviously blend um, that same pink and that sort of same purple through the lower lash line. But to finish off the eyes, I'm going to take another one of our pigments. This is Enchanted, and it's a really pretty sort of pale kind of like a lilac color, but it does have a duochrome pink shift through it. It's really pretty. I'm gonna pop this on the inner corner. So using our E10 Precision Shader, it's a really nice small brush for packing on the inner corners. And I'm just gonna pack it right on the inner corner. This one's got really pretty glittery reflex in it. And I'm not worrying about using a shadow glue here because the concealer and the eye base is still tacky here because we haven't already blended any eyeshadow over the top. So it will adhere fine. I am looking so festive. Oh my goodness. So quickly just blending those same matching shadows through the lower lash line. And then we will move right on. All right, just popping some mascara on now. I will chuck some lashes on too. See how when I turn and face this way, hopefully the camera is picking it up. It looks like I've blended like a dark purple shadow in this outer corner. That's the pigment shifting colors. It's honestly like magic. It's so cool. But I'm going to pop some mascara on. I'll do lashes. And then we're going to keep working on the skin. And honestly, you guys, how good does that foundation look? Oh. <sighs> Best. All right, so lashes are on and this is how the eyes came out. Oh, I feel like a Christmas tree. They look so pretty. Um, the lashes that I am wearing are our Ava lash. These are from our Naked collection. These are a 3D silk lash and they've got an invisible band so they can be worn without an eyeliner if you prefer. Um, let's get back onto the skin. Now, another favorite product that I've just been loving since I originally ever tested it. I feel like I've said that for every product in today's video. Um, but the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Concealer, absolutely love this stuff. It's so creamy. It's got amazing coverage. It blends out really well. I don't find that it settles into my fine lines and it doesn't get that awful crepey texture that some concealers do get. It is really, really nice. Certainly um, her concealer and her foundation are two of my favorite ever Pat 
Graph products. So taking our Pro Plus Perfecting Sponge, this one's perfect for the festive season. It's this beautiful cranberry color. And I'm gonna blend this concealer in and then we're gonna set everything down with powder. Oh, it honestly just looks so beautiful on the skin. I also feel like Pat McGrath had a sale on. I'll double check on Instagram again, but I feel like like the entire website was like 30% off or something. I'll, I'll double check though. And going in now and setting everything down with our Velvet Finishing Powder. Pressing it into the skin. Look how much smoother it looks. Like it honestly makes a huge, huge difference. It's triple milled, so it's super fine. And it creates this velvet look and feel on the skin. Um, it's also got six skincare ingredients in it to help hydrate and look after your skin while you wear it. And it also controls shine like an absolute boss. So if you're an oily skin type or a dry skin type, it works for everyone. All right, another favorite product, the Benefit Hula Caramel Bronzer. This one is like slightly deeper and slightly warmer than the original Hula and it's really good for medium skin tones. So picking that one up on our contour brush and I'm going to start to add a little bit of shape back into my face. Oh, now that my skin's like starting to come together, the eyeshadow is looking even cooler. Oh. Love. I'm going to take so many photos. I feel like it's going to look so cool in photos. And because our eyes are, you know, there's there's a lot going on. They're quite smoky and they're quite dark. You can actually afford to go a little bit harder on your contour and bronzer. Because if you don't sort of match the intensity of the rest of your face to your eyes, your skin can end up looking like a little bit washed out. It's just something to keep in mind. So for blush, the Ciate Glow 2 Blush in the shade Date Night. Again, this has been another favorite of mine since last year. I love it. It looks beautiful on the skin. Taking our tapered powder brush, I'm going to swirl it in there and then gently apply it to the cheeks. I like this one because it adds like a bit of a glow to the skin, but it's not too much. Like there's no texture. There's no chunky glittery pieces or anything. It just adds like a little bit of soft color and a little bit of glow at the same time. It's really, really flattering. So I'm blending that one onto the skin. I would borderline consider going without a highlighter today. I mean, this blush does give that sort of slight glow, so I really could, but I also feel like I don't want to take any attention away from this amazing eyeshadow. Like I really want it to be the focal point. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep my skin highlighter free. So I'm going to go back into the eyeshadow palette from earlier and I'm going to take this shade here, Cheers, and I'm going to use that to highlight my brow bone and I'll pop a tiny bit on my inner corner. I'm just pop a little in there and a tiny bit on the brow bone. Just go easy with this one. Um, the shimmers in this palette are super pigmented and they can end up like OTT very easily. <laughs> and I might even put the tiniest little bit of that just on my Cupid's bow. And then finally to finish, liquid lipstick. This one is from Estee Lauder and this is their Pure Color Envy. Matte liquid lipstick in the shade Bronze Lee. I wanted to choose a lip color that wasn't that pink. Um, just keep it really neutral again so a lot of the focus was staying on the eyes. I love the formula of these liquid lips. Like they're so lightweight, they're so long lasting. They're incredibly comfortable on the lips. And there you go guys. This is my finished festive holiday makeup look. Um, I'm super happy with how everything came out. The skin is really flawless, but still lightweight, totally comfortable. You know, whether or not you're in the snow or you're over here in Australia and you are absolutely sweating your head off because that's me right now. <laughs> But yeah, really flawless, smooth, you know, perfected skin. We've got a nude lip and then we've got these amazing multicolored, like color changing eyes. We've got green in there. We've got a bit of blue. We've got a bit of purple. All the colors of Christmas as far as I am concerned. So I hope that you really enjoyed today's video. I hope that you enjoyed, um, you know, my festive look. Let me know what you think of it down below. I'm definitely going to be rocking this on Christmas Day. Oh, my family is... They ain't even ready. <laughs> but yeah, let me know all of your thoughts down below. If you've got any questions about any of the products that I have used, please leave that in the comment section as well. I will obviously link all of the products and all of the brushes that I used in today's video uh, in the description bar. But yeah, any questions or anything, just let me know. I hope you're all having an amazing holiday season. I hope that you're getting to have some time off work um, and just spending some time actually treating yourself and spoiling yourself a little bit. So yeah, I love you guys heaps. Give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I will catch you in my next one. Bye.